среду, 5 января, в 19 часов вы сможете посмотреть международную встречу по хоккею команды Миннесота Норт Старс и сборной СССР. In goal, number 20, Vladislav Trechak. At defense, number two, Vyacheslav Fedosov. At number seven, Alexei Kasatanov. Playing forward for the Soviet All-Stars, number nine, Vladimir Krutov. At number 11, Igor Larionov. At number 28, Viktor Tumenev. Coaching the Soviet All-Stars, Viktor Tikhonov. And now here is the starting lineup for our Minnesota North Stars. Starting in goal, number one, Marcus Matson. At defense, number two, Kurt Giles. At number four, Craig Hartsburg. At center, number seven, Neil Broughton. At wing, number 11, Tom McCarthy. Number 20, Dino Cicerelli. The coach of the North Stars is Glenn Sonmore and the balance of the North Star team. Timonev, the third member of that top Soviet line, their defense pair, Kazatanov, and Fetisov, the captain, number two. For the North Stars, Neil Broughton brings his line out. 
And we are underway at the Met Center in game five of the series. A fast break inside the line. Broughton could not control the puck against Fedesov. Dino Cicerelli trying to jam it in there. Digs it free, popped it out. Nobody there. And here comes Kutov starting a play for the Soviet Union. Timonev sweeps inside the line. Got taken down by Kirk Giles, number two, falling along the board. Ahead for Cicerelli. Feeding it for Broughton. Too far for him. Soviets bounce it back out to center ice where they fight for it and freeze it against the boards. And now, an early penalty call coming up from referee Bob Meyer. The penalty. Well, the unit of Ferguson and Young that just went off there is more dangerous offensively when they're killing penalties. These two, McAdam and Eves, will play with the puck more. Both units, however, as we look at Victor. Chetchak has extended his scoreless string by almost four minutes now to this first period. No score in the game. North Stars again doing an impressive job of knocking the Soviets up on the USSR power play. Kutov away from McAdam on the right side. Feeds it back to Fedosov to his left. Now Timonev breaking out of there to Krutov inside the line. They get a lot of ice time, these three. Fedosov contains the puck there. Passing it down to the left side for Krutov. Away over to Kazatanov. He booms the slap shot. Rebound. Larionov shot blocked by the defense. And cleared out over the blue line. Another penalty call, though, by the referee, Bob Meyer. So to call for icing. Well, as we look at Fedosov, Probably is fine. They use him even to kill penalties up front. Very good offensively. For the first time tonight, we'll see the Minnesota power play. The penalty was for holding against Sergei Kapusta of the Soviet Union. As we approach the seven minute mark of the first period, we are scoreless here at the Met Center. Brought in on the right side, down the boards, the pass for Brian Bellows. In behind, here is Young on the point, trapping it in there. Let's the shot go. Vidya Letanov blocking it and bringing it back for the Soviet Union. Hartsburg. Having difficulty, gives the puck up briefly. Then the pass came out for Bellows. Back in the slot, they collected a good shot away. Smith got turned around. The Soviets roll it to the blue line, but Young keeps it in. Young closing in, across to face the goal now. Shot by Tretjak. Rebound comes out, picked up by Shalimov. Close call for Trechak right there from point blank range. Soviets bring it back down. Shot rolling wide from Viktor Zlutkov. 35 seconds to go on the Soviet penalty as Tim Young heads up a play. Long pass out the line. Over on the right boards, Broughton cruising in front of the goal. They can't get the puck to him. Cicerelli now has it to Broughton. Feeding it back here for Tom McCarthy. McCarthy swings in behind. Tried his pass out, being blocked there by Baikov. Minnesota player going down. Here's Sput getting it over and keeping it in. Broughton in front for the rebound. Couldn't get his stick out of door. Could McCarthy. Roberts now will close in and let his shot go. That's blocked by players in front of the net. Penalty is over. Play still inside the Soviet zone. The shot deflected off target. Flat for Cicerelli too far. Now it is Lutkov. In the center ice area. Feeding it back in for Zubka. Soviet player falling as he hit the line. That was Sportsov. But Minnesota certainly very dangerous on that last power play with a couple of real outstanding scoring opportunities. Now Broughton digs it ahead. As the stars indicate, they'll change on the go. We approach the midway mark of period one. No score. Minnesota and the Soviet national team. Vasiliev to Starikov. Back off Robert Stick for Vasiliev and down to the Minnesota corner. Maxwell leaving it for Roberts. Now around to Brad Maxwell again. Good forechecking by the Soviets. Cops it up. Vasiliev shot wide. The dangerous Vasiliev cruising in. Blasted one wide into the crowd. Goes all the way down into your own defensive zone. Where the snow is piled up outside, but melting gradually under fairly balmy temperatures today in the high 30s, low 40s in this area. More to come. Inside, it's certainly warm and comfortable here as the Stars battle the Soviets. Puck in the Soviet corner. Bringing it out now is Larry Onoff, that dangerous center man to Timonev. 
Krutov on the left, cruising in. Here's Kezotanov leaving it. Denisov winding for the shot. He shot wide. Soviet shooting more frequently, but quite often inaccurately from those po uh, point positions. Denisov being bumped in there now by Ferguson in the corner and tied up. Ferguson fed it around the left side. Now the pass back to him at center right. Shoots it inside the Soviet zone. Nine minutes and 35 seconds to go in the first period. They will tie it up there. It pops free. Getting to it first was Timonev. Timonev leaving it for Kazatana. Now Fedesov. Ahead for Krutov. Couldn't get his stick on it. Ferguson taking his time. Will play it back as the Soviets do so often. This time the Stars wait to form their play. Have it inside the line. A Hartsburg shot block. Rebound. Steve Payne couldn't get a shot off the rebound. Goes down in the corner in a pile. They'll whistle it down with 9.04 to play in the period. NHL Soviet Series will conclude the Philadelphia Spectrum on Thursday night. We'll be there for what should be an exciting windup. Teams even and wins at two apiece right now. Here is Kapustin behind his own goal being bothered by Bellows to Pervuka. Pass comes out to the Minnesota zone. Rolling down. Matson gets there first. He'll play it off the boards for Payne and back down inside the Soviet blue line. Three penalties in the game. No goals so far. Two to the North Stars. One to the Soviet Union. Bill Yeletinov drops the pass for Kapustin. Gates around Roberts, then Roberts gets a piece of him, ties him up in the corner. Soviet player can't find the puck. Payne coming in to help out. Soviets maintain possession in there. The slap shot and the deflection just goes wide. Vilyuletinov ripped one from the right point. Here's the backhand now, and Matson hangs on there. The Soviets with a good shot, a deflection just wide from the point after the puck got freed loose in the corner. Payne being taken out, no one picking up his wing. Puck coming back to the blue line, a shot, the deflection just missed the net. From the faceoff, Soviets get a chance again, but it is shot wide by number 18, Vazakov. Rotten in the corner, can't find it. Now it is picked up but not cleared by Young to the blue line, bumping for it there. Well, that is number 11, Tom McCarthy, and he forces the puck out to center right. No stars coming in. Dino Cicerelli shoots, scores! Well, that's the highest scoring line for Minnesota, and you see why right there. All three work very effectively. McCarthy, the heavy on the line, always takes the body. He frees the puck up for Broughton. Broughton, with an exceptional move at the blue line, has both defensemen frozen up near the line, slides it through. Watch this. He'll come across. Pull a Soviet move right there. Frees both defensemen up at the blue line. Dino with the bullet. Cicerelli shot, catching the inside of Trechak's pad and giving the North Stars the lead. So they finally break the streak of Trechak, 12-18 into this period. Broughton and McCarthy getting the assists on the goal by Dino Cicerelli, the North Star's top goal scorer this year. 12-18's the time. Minnesota with the lead and the puck right now, which is shot to Starikov outside the Minnesota blue line. Zukov starting a play. Blykov inside the blue line, shooting Hudson short side. Good save, stop that. Craig Hartsburg around the board. Pushing it ahead, pass. Zubkov into center ice. Koja Venikov in his first shift tonight on the ice for the Soviets. He's always dangerous. Lead pass for him, rolls through to Priest. And Priest plays it off the boards on the far side for Mike Eves. Six minutes and 45 seconds to play. Minnesota on Cicerelli's goal with a 1-0 lead. Worth noting that the two games the NHL teams have won, they have scored the first goal. That's right, Don. The Soviets played differently coming from behind. Priest ahead for Eves. Had to leave it there. Couldn't find the puck in behind him. Smith or McAdam for checking in front of Fedesov. Timonev setting up Larianov. Look out! Great stop by Matson. What a save by Marcus Matson left all alone. The save of the night. The NHL Soviet Series 83. 
Well tied by Marcus Mutson off Larianoff point blank alone in on him to hold this one nothing North Star advantage. Bandit starts up slowly feeding Young center ice. Young trying to cut in forced off into the board. Still stays on top of the puck battling for it comes to Fedosov he goes down in the pile. Soviets with the dangerous Larianoff again. Over skated by Timonev at the blue line. North Stars applying pressure. The backhand shot goes wide. Douglas gets it around to the far side. Giles digging it out. Krutov on his opposite wing. Over on the far boards. Larianov makes a good move. Can't get the shot away. Puck still loose in there. Myers will call a penalty for holding. Sergei Shepilev on the draw against Eves. Eves shooting the puck over on the boards. Held in by the Soviets. Vidyaletanov keeping it in. Hartsburg got a stick on it. Back in Soviet control. Vidyaletanov shot deflected high off the glass. Rebound came off the mesh. Soviet players swarming all around that net. But Matson has been very tough in this first period. Shepilev forced back by number 25, McAdam, the veteran. They bump in there. Giles comes in to help, pushing the Soviet player Kapustinov. Play goes right on. Puck comes loose. Back to Vidyaletanov. Keeping it alive for the Soviet Union. Shepilev knocked down in front of the goal. Another Minnesota penalty coming up, and down goes Matson. But the Soviet player was hammered down in front of the goal, and Myers has tagged the North Stars with their fourth penalty of the period. And this is a time you don't want to take a penalty against Hartford. Very upset in front of the net. He comes across and cross checks the Soviet setting up in front of the net. That penalty called. It was a delayed penalty that's going to put out next. Krutov against Eves. Eves wins it for Giles, being hounded there by Lariana. Roberts digs it out and shoots it down the ice. Fedosov, a Soviet captain. Long pass for Krutov inside the line. Beautiful stick check, a sweep check from behind by a falling Gordy Roberts. Soviets with a two-man advantage. Kazatanov, Fedosov, Kazatanov, shooting. Blasted wide. The defenseman Fedosov down the board. Now takes it back to the point and over to Kazatanov. Now Fedosov, Fedosov. Maxwell got turned around. They play catch out there. Kazatana booming one, deflected up into the crowd. Five rolls high. 28 seconds left in the first Minnesota penalty. There's a tired Marcus Matson getting tested in her shoot. Isn't bad. It's their number one productive unit. Krutov takes the face off, trying to get the puck across to Lariano. Can't do it, but Fedosov has it over to Kazatanov. They've switched spots now on this point. Here's Kazatanov. He watched by Maxwell. Puts it off the goalpost. Rebound. They missed it just across the crease. Great scoring chance there for the Soviet Union. Timonev shot through a maze of players. Hops off the board. Soviets keep the pressure on. Kazatanov playing five against three in there. A shot caught by Matson, who's worked very hard, and the whistle sounded just as the first penalized player, Young, came back on the ice. The North Stars bring two people out up high, allowing three Soviets back near the net with one defenseman because they weren't using those men. That shot slipped through. Oh. The Soviet forward let it go, hit the pipe, and the other fellow right in the doorstep missed it. But the Soviets, instead of moving that puck down low, which they finally did and almost scored, kept it back and forth up high. Two goals, Gretzky second on the goal scoring. Zubkov. Vasiliev and center ice. Blocked at the Minnesota blue line. Oh, man, back him up. Soviets being cut off at that line more frequently now by the Minnesota defenders. Maxwell to the corner around for Roberts. Takes a funny bounce and Smith comes up with it. Right wing relay. Bellows booms one. Trechak blocks that. Big rebound comes out to Vasiliev of the Soviet Union. Now this is Baikov. 
Kozhevanikov, Vasilyev shot, and he drills it wide. A minute to play in the first period. Minnesota with a one-goal lead. Steve Payne getting it back at the blue line. With Bellows, drops it to him. Let's the pass go through. Smith couldn't get his stick on it. Starikov comes up with it for the Soviet Union ahead to Vasilyev. Bellows right back inside that blue line off Starikov's leg. 35 seconds to play in the first period now. Giles getting it out over the line. Eves moving in for it. Across to McAdam. In they go. Rolling loose puck after a fine save by Tretjak. Delayed penalty indicated now by referee Myers. Well, the hooking penalty on the Soviets will give the North Stars a power play advantage. McAdam with an outstanding chance. Here's a play. Actually, that's... Ronnie Freeze breaking in a fine play for McAdam. McAdam switched over to the right side in that line. Freeze breaking in with a good slap shot. Ronnie Freeze, his first year in the National Hockey League, checking out who's going to be killing the penalty. He's taking a little time. And you see Eves breaking for the loose puck, but being held right there and brought down with 19 seconds to go in a period. The North Stars go on the power play. This is the second Soviet penalty of the game. Out the penalty. Myers has penalized the wrong man. No matter. Soviet short a man. But now, as the stars of 12 seconds left here in the period, Roberts moves it all. Oh, great chance right there to the side of the goal. And Broughton just failed to put it in. Soviets take the pressure off now. Down into the Minnesota zone as the siren ends the first period, with Minnesota still having a minute 41 of second period power play time left to them when play resumes. But they got the only goal from Dino. Старинные часы, 
свидетели и судьи, когда ты в дом ходил, они слагали гимн, звоня тебе во все колокола. Старинные часы еще идут. Еще идут, еще идут, еще идут. Had a pool on when Trechak would give one up. It was 164 minutes and 10 seconds of scoreless hockey. And to begin this period, Babinoff is in the penalty box with a minute 37 seconds left in the Minnesota North Stars power play. Kazatanov shooting it down behind an outstanding Minnesota goaltender, Marcus Matson. Neil Broughton, who came very close to making it 2-0 in the waning seconds of period one, drives it down now to the Soviet zone. The Ashislev Fetisov, the Soviet captain, across to Kazatana. McCarthy got there first, held in by the Stars. Back to Roberts now, left point. Roberts, weak shot. Picked up easily by the Soviets, and back they come on the right side. Krutov will swing around from left to right wing as they crisscross. Has an offside call of the Minnesota Blue Line. And very quickly, he says it's all big men up front with little rabbits in behind, and the big men have to clear the way for the little men to run. I'll tell you what, the big men and the rabbits were hitting last night. And he's to America. <laughs> Larianov on the draw for the Soviets. Krutov into the corner, taken down by Brian Bellows. No penalty call, got his stick jammed in there as the Stars bring it out now. 33 seconds. On the power play remaining. Bobby Smith swings inside the line past Kazatanov, but again it is shot promptly back out. Marcus Matson way out of his goal. Still inside as the Stars do not have a good power play going now. Soviets drive it down the ice. 11 seconds remaining in the Soviet penalty. Chance for the Soviets, one-on-one. -on -one. Chalimo could not get a shot. Hartsburg guarding him. Soviet players back on. The team's at full strength now. Payne brought it out. Fed Smith at the blue line. Smith rolling it around in behind the goal. And Bellows makes a check. Hard drive by Payne. Might have caught the Soviet goal post and bounced in behind. Vidyoletinov. Payne falling in the corner. Soviets coming up with it now. On the right side, Shalimov leads it to the blue line for Shepilev. Shalimov overskated the pass back. Now Payne, rink wide. That's broken up by Sergei Kapustin. Oh, and almost a chance there in the long pass for Shalimov. They'll call it back over two lines. This concluding game on Thursday night. But we've got a long way to go here this evening at the Met Center. Stars, Reese in the corner, losing it there. Soviets very adept at getting it out smartly from their own zone tonight and do once again off Matson's stick into the corner. Side that Minnesota goal as they bump for it. Giles now getting some help, falling on the play. Soviets try to work it up the boards. It is held in there briefly, and the scores have it out at center eyes. McAdam couldn't control it. They played three minutes here in this third period. Teams even in shots on goal, 8-8 eight, eight right now. Chance for the Soviets, swinging in. Pass in front was blocked. Vasiliev digs it back. Shot by Zlutkov, that is stopped. Here is Starikov deflected off the post. Penalty being called here. It'll go against Minnesota. Delayed call, cross-checking, so the Stars will face the Soviet power play once again. You'll see Kozhenikov in front of the net right there, and now you're going to see Maxwell come across. And give him a cross check. He goes down. Penalty to Max could be very dangerous there if Minnesota's on the power play. Soviets with four power play goals now in 25 opportunities in this series. That's not a high batting average. Three and a half minutes into the second period. One nothing for the Minnesota North Stars. Fruta. Fetisa. Stars break it up there with. Number 21, Ferguson with it, trying to kill this Minnesota penalty. Larianov inside the blue line, being forced over by Young, across to Kazatanov. His shot, blocked by the defense in front. 
Mandich had a bounce off him off of the board. Soviets keeping it in. Wide angle shot. Good catch by Matson. Good quick reflexes with a glove hand of Marcus Matson. That was a good catch because that one was labeled for the upper corner. A fine shot. The Soviets using the pick out front. Allowed that defenseman to move in and he took a real good shot. There's Krutov, number nine. What a dangerous man this fellow is. He's always one of their leading scorers. Very quick, very deceptive. Top scorer so far, five points in the four games and change to this point. And there is Matson very quickly picking that out of thin air. A minute 12 remaining in the Minnesota penalty. Soviet power play goes to work very patiently, very deliberately, but a mistake made there by the captain Fedesov. And it's shot by Eves back to the Soviet blue line. Fedesov dropping it back. Rutov swings in with it. Right in front. Couldn't get the shot away. Waited a bit too long to get a perfect opportunity, and it's cleared by the North Star. Here's a chance for Eves. Eves taken down. Rolling puck rebound. McCann shot. Blocked in front. And Kazatanov comes up with an almost 2 nothing with Minnesota shorthanded. Kazatanov taken down. Minnesota clearing it with 25 seconds left in Maxwell's penalty. But a close call as the Soviets got careless in their own zone. Long lead pass for Kapusta. He is bumped on the boards and Young backhands it down the eye. Ten seconds remaining in the penalty. Over on the right board. Shell him off. Left it there for Kapusta. The penalty is over. Five times tonight. Minnesota has escaped without getting burned with a Soviet power play. Tim Young chasing it down to the corner. Lost his balance against Vidya Letana. Perbukin around for Kapusta. He can't clear it out of there. Right in front. Oh, Young. Couldn't get enough on it, just shot wide. And tipped back to center ice, the Stars, with a couple of great scoring chances the last minute or so. Shalimov leaves it at center ice. Now takes it across the blue line for Shepelev. Shepelev gets turned around by Hartsburg and ridden off the play. Tim Young coming up with it. Young is everywhere in this shift. For Shepelev, Shalimov, and there in time is number 11, Tom McCarthy. Stars getting tired. They'll head for the bench and change on the go, as some of the Soviets do now. Icing is called against Minnesota. You'll see the replay right here as they're trying to kill the penalty off, and then the shot in front, Tim Young was just coming by, almost deflected it right after the power play was over. Tim Young just missed. Soon Annie with you. 1-0 North Stars. Cicerelli's goal, 12-18, the first period, the only scoring so far. Five penalties have been killed off by Minnesota. McCarthy now at center ice, one-on-one. -on -one. Bumped hard as he tried to get around the Soviet defender and went flying. Now Barnikov has trouble clearing. Stars keeping it in. Around the left side, it is tipped ahead by Schwarzoff. Schwarzoff inside the line, couldn't get his stick on it. Now Vozakov shoots it, and the Soviets have tied it up. From the left face-off circle past Marcus Matson, who's played his heart out tonight. They finally beat him. Well, a little deflection right in front of the net. The shot from way out, but the deflection was what beat Matson. He just was allowed that puck to go through his legs. He's playing the shot. You'll see Marcus standing up right here, and then the deflection in front. And Marcus goes down to get it, goes right through his legs. The Soviets tied up one to one. Right in front of the net, the Soviets. Setting up, I think it was Wartskopf, setting up, getting a piece of it, and deflecting it by. Goal coming at the 4.35 mark. Ties it up. Soviets won, and Minnesota won. Soviets bring it right back to the blue line again. Bobby Smith now trying to find some of the feet inside her eye. Gets it ahead for his defenseman, Hartsburg. Leaves it there for Payne. Payne shot. Loved by Trechak. Couldn't hang on to it. Back it comes all the way to center eye. Sportskov did get the goal for the Soviet Union to tie this game. Payne ahead for Smith. Babin offense. Lukov got the assist at 6:35 on that Soviet tying goal. 
Play whistle down on the mesh beside Matson, and they will have a face-off in the Minnesota zone. Last year he was named Minnesota's most improved player. This year he's playing even better. Eleven minutes and forty seconds of second period playing time remain, and luck out a chance for the Soviets right here on Matson. He made the save. The Soviet player Shepelev stole the puck right there. And almost made it two to one. Penalty being called against Kapustin. He took down Hartsburg from behind, and the Minnesota North Stars will get their power play to go to work in just a moment. The NHL's Sergei Kapustin caught for hooking Hartsburg at the 839 mark. And so the faceoff coming outside the zone. Here it is. Down he went. Caught him from behind. Minnesota will have the power play on the ice. This line would like to work the puck down close with Groton and Cicerelli around the net, Plett screening in front. Penalties all going Minnesota's way in the first period. They settled down tremendously in that regard. Now I'm sure Glenn Sodmore had a lot to say about taking unnecessary penalties in between periods when he talked to them. I'm sure Roberts he did, though. chops it out to center ice for Broughton. Broughton on the relay by Plett, former Calgary Flame, drives it in behind. Stars pressing now to get the play going in the Soviet zone. Rotten right out in front for Flett. Couldn't get the shot away. Now Roberts controls the bouncing puck momentarily and lost out at center. Roberts across to Flett. Trying to feed Broughton with it. We'll drag it down the boards now. Shefalev clears for the Soviets. A minute 15 remaining in the Kapustin penalty. Roberts swings away from Shalimov and sends Bobby Smith to center ice. With Plett and Payne, in they go. Soviet defender falling in the corner, bringing it around in behind the goal, waiting to make that play back to the point they do to Roberts, getting pressure now. Soviet player Shalimov watching very carefully, getting as close as he can. They dig it across to the far side. The slap shot, loose puck in front, bouncing around. Petchak, it goes in. It's 2-1 Minnesota. Wait a minute, no goal. They waved it. The play had been whistled down. The red light went on. But the linesman and the referee, Myers, say it is no goal. Well, Trechak made the save. He couldn't find the puck. Let's see if he can handle it. Here's a shot from the point. A good hard shot from McCarthy. Trechak making a save. The puck is lost in Trechak somewhere. You saw it drop there and Plett knocking it in. But the whistle had sounded. Bob Myers blowing the whistle when he lost sight of the puck, which is the correct thing to do. And so there's no goal. Game is still tied one to one. You see McCarthy shot. You see Plett screening in front. That's what he does so well. Trechak losing the puck. It drops, falls in the net, but the whistle had sounded. Still a one all hockey game. Close call there for the Soviets. 42 seconds left in their penalty to Kapusta. Stars backing up to form up the power play, and away they come now at the blue line. But that is broken up by Timunev. Soviets four checking well. Young drops it to a Soviet defender. 20 seconds left down the penalty. Schwarzoff skating into the corner. Hartsburg checking him. Hartsburg coming up with the puck as Schwarzoff lost his stick. 10 seconds to go on the power play. Payne. Young. And broken up by Babinov, but failed to clear. Now it's over the blue line. A Soviet player, Kapustin, back on the ice. The teams are at full strength. Nine minutes and 15 seconds to go in the second period. Still a 1-1 tie. Chance for the Soviets. Down goes the Soviet player. There'll be a penalty against Minnesota. Hartsburg for holding at 10-54. Took the Soviet player down, going right in, put a fine tackle on him. Well, Zuktov breaking in all alone. Hartsburg definitely pulling him down. The Soviets on the power play again. Roberts on the faceoff, being watched by Timonav. Gets it up the left boards. Eves digs it ahead to the Soviet zone. Fetisov quickly back on top of the play. Taken down. Here's a chance for Eves. Shot it wide. Shorthand of the Stars are with Hartsburg in the penalty box, his second penalty of the night. Timonav, the top Soviet line, is on the ice style. Larianov with it. Krutov right in front of the goal. Back it comes to Kazatana. Booms the slap shot wide. Roberts goes in behind for it. Lost his stick. 
20th player taken down in front, and it's shut down the ice finally by the Minnesota North Stars, Al McAdam. A minute 10 left in Minnesota's penalty. Mariana drops it back. Timonev, Kazatana, Fedosov, Kazatana. Fakes the shot, makes the pass, the backhand drive just wide from Lariana. Soviets pressing to take the lead. It's tied 1-1. Timonov gets it again, top of the circle, passing it back. Kazatana fakes the slap shot, drops to Fedosov. Almost checked out over the blue line there. Trutov had his drive blocked. Roberts battling for it in the corner. Digs it out, but still inside that blue line. 27 seconds of the penalty remaining. The long shot again goes wide. Many Soviet attempts off the mark on this power play. Teams even in shots at 13-13. Here's Krutov cruising in front. Krutov waiting. Scores! Krutov took his time and made it pay off. The Soviets have taken a lead of 2-1. to one. Well, Krutov with plenty of time coming out of the corner where Roberts was taken down by a Soviet offensive man right in the corner you'll see Krutov walking out all alone walking to the front he's got everybody going down in front holds it long enough eaves in the net trying to block it but he puts it up and over everyone here he is a fine play going over to his forehand and this wide's good when you're playing your off wing you come across your forehand you look at him putting it up and over well that's Gordy Roberts back in the net who bounced back try to save it but a little too late so the Soviets have the lead for the first time tonight at two to one Krutov's goal at the 12.40 mark of the second period. Broughton for the North Stars, ahead at center ice. For Cicerelli, he's bumped hard, taken down at the blue line. Dykov, long lead pass coming out to the Minnesota blue line. Vasiliev couldn't make a play. Now McCarthy with it, with Cicerelli, and Broughton inside the line. McCarthy falls, puck slides free, Giles shot of wide, rebound past Broughton. Now trying to hold it in is Mandich. And the Soviets get it back to center ice. Timonev and Fedosov got the assists on Krutov's goal at 12.40. Soviets right back in. Falling on the play, the Soviet player actually was taken down by the defender right in front of the goal. That's Koja Vedikov. Hard body check thrown by the Soviet Zubkov. He leveled Broughton there at the blue line. Koja Vedikov inside the line. Koja Vedikov waits to make his play. Stick handles right in, and he's taken down. No penalty on the play. Defending was Mandich. McCarthy takes it inside the line for Cicerelli, and down to the corner for McCarthy. Trying to pass in front for Bobby Smith. Can't get it to him. Six minutes to play in period number two. Soviets leading two to one. Vladimir Zupkov. They work the left side of the center ice area. Right across the blue line. Shalimov failed to hold it there. Shot down the ice by Minnesota. Vidya Leptinov comes back to pick it off, but did not go far enough to be called for icing. Soviets with the only two goals of this period. Body checked by Hartsburg in the corner. Digs it free for a moment for Brian Bellow. Now Roberts runs into Shalimov in behind. Payne rolls it up the boards, kept in by Vidya Lettinov and blocked by Matson up and among the spectators. 5-12 to play in the period. Leave right there. But here's a uh, Cicerelli taking the check. Did he ever get hit? Broughton got hit mm. with a harder one by Zubkov coming across the middle. Both four. Here's another save. We'll see Matson standing up, standing his ground. A good move by the Soviet, but he's pulling right down by Giles. Matson making a leg save. McCarthy back to hold out, and he'll get the puck up and out of danger. You know, control the puck a lot. They never took as many shots as they take now. Now they shoot from a lot farther out and from worse angles than they had before. Shot 35 against Edmonton, 37 against Quebec and Montreal, and 29 against Calgary. And many more have gone wide. They don't count. Here is Freese holding it in at the blue line, driving it down for Eves. Eves is taken down to be a Soviet penalty. Great chance, Freese scores! It's 2-2! What a play by Plett and Freese. Freese went in the corner. Freese made the play initially at his blue line. He faked the shot, got it in the corner to Eves. 
who gets pulled down behind the net right here, but he deflects the puck back. Plant alertly comes behind centers. It's quickly to Freese moving in from the point, and he beats Trechak to tie this game up. Ron Freese, one of the more physical players on the North Stars, noted more for his body checking than scoring, but a complete hockey player. He's come a long way in four years, really worked hard on his game. Fine youngster. So Ron Freese gets the second Minnesota goal to tie this game. Back into the Soviet zone again. It is ice and call against the Minnesota North Star. Well, one thing we haven't seen too many of done were icings tonight. An icing at this stage you don't like to take. You've just scored a goal. Don't give the Soviets a chance to win a draw, get a good shot on net. You don't want to allow the Soviets any opportunity to score right after you've scored. You'll see Plett centering that puck to Freese. Freese yelling, moving in from the point, and beating Tretiak, tying this game up. Platt and Eves get the assists on Freese goal at 15-24. Soviets pressing now, however. Here's Fedosov having the puck taken away from him. Douglas for the North Stars. Down the left board. Leaving it for Ferguson. Ferguson shooting. That is blocked. Minnesota gaining momentum now with that equalizing goal late in this period. Four minutes to play in the second period. It's 2-2. Ferguson gets it across the ice. Mandich up the board. Not out. Timonev blasts the shot. He scores. The Soviets regain the lead. Well, that's what happened when you don't get the puck out and you've got a lot of opportunities. Soviets very alertly picking that puck up as it was trying to get thrown out of the zone. Timonev moving to the center, getting a real fine slap shot right up past Matson in the upper corner. One more look at it. Boom, gone. 3-2, Soviets. Goal coming at 16.07 of the second period, scored by Timyanev. So quickly, the Soviets are back on top, and out they come to center ice. Baikoff, quick checked at the blue line. Last possession there. Gordy Roberts. Over to Maxwell with Broughton inside the Soviet line. They go three and a half minutes in the penalty or the period remaining. Kazatonov got the assist from Timonev at 16.07. Here's Cicerelli. It was blocked for the Soviet defender. And out down the right side comes Kozhevenikov. Kozhevenikov swings in front and shot wide. Vasiliev can't keep it in. Long pass for Broughton. Drop digs it back into the slot. The shot, oh, just wide by Tom McCarthy. Back and forth they go. You get the feeling this could be a very high-scoring game. Vasilia makes the play right in front. And Kozhevanikov got taken down. They score from a bad angle with the open net. It is 4-2 for the Soviets. Well, the Soviets come down. They had a two-on-one play. They didn't score initially. Matson got caught out of the net. Roberts trying to get up alertly to get the puck, but he was down flat. You'll see the passing play right here. Matson coming across, making the save. Now he's knocked out of the net. Roberts trying to get to it, doesn't get to it. No one in the net. The Soviets take a 4-2 lead. Starikov shot from an extremely bad angle and nonetheless popped it in. Kozhevenikov with a big opportunity there, and then way over almost on the line, he found the range. It is now 4-2 for the Soviets. Two minutes and 35 seconds to play in the second period. Vidyaletanov gets it in behind his own goal. Pervukin getting it ahead to Shalimov. Kapustin rolls it down the right board. Hartsburg. Kozhevenikov and Vasily have got assists on that fourth Soviet goal at 17-11. So they have struck twice quickly here to regain the lead. Shefalev's shot is blocked to the corner. Shalimov can't get a stick on it. Now Bobby Smith with Payne gives the puck to Payne. Hits the Soviet blue line, drops it in there. Long relay for Smith. They can't get it to him. Soviets trying to widen their lead further with Shefalev and Shalimov. Hartsburg being checked by Shalimov. Payne being watched by Shalimov, who seems to be everywhere. Now Hartsburg brings it inside the Soviet blue line. Hartsburg is 
Set off to the right side for Payne out in front. Could not get a shot away. Back come the Soviets. Two on two. Drop pass. Here's the shot. That's from the stick of Lutkov and why? A minute 15 to go on the period now. They send in McAdam quickly. Dropping it back for Roberts. Oh, just why? Maxwell fakes the shot. Gets around Barnikov and the relay just going wide by Ron Priest. Stars pressing for a third goal now. Down by two. One minute to play in the second period. Roberts fails to hold it in. Soviets break two on one. Barnikov coming in. Passing back in the slot. The shot as he was falling by number 26. Sports off just rolled wide. Yuri Vozakov. Ahead for Varnikov. With Timonev. Shooting it into the Minnesota zone. Mike Eves behind his own goal for the North Stars. Leaves it there for Roberts. Roberts having trouble getting it out. Finally it hops off free stick into the center ice area. 20 seconds to play in the second period. Left there for Krutov. Krutov scores. He sailed right in. It's 5-2 for the Soviet Union. Well, Krutov moving in over the blue line. Two people having a crack at him. He finally was able to slip that puck through. It looks right here like he's lost that puck momentarily. He's got it on his backhand, and as he's being checked, he just gets a backhand in the net. Nine seconds ago to put the Soviets up five to two. Krutov, Krutov a second fine goal, just... though, and he just sailed right through the two defense players. Giles and Roberts split them and popped it in behind Matsudi. He has four goals in the series now. He's the leading Soviet scorer in this NHL Soviet confrontation. Just two seconds left now in behind the Soviet goal, and that will be all. The Soviets have broken out after Minnesota took that lead of one to nothing. It's been mostly the Soviet Union ever since then as they have scored all the goals, five of them here in the second period in lead. The Minnesota North Stars by a score of five. В песенке старинной Уж как пали белые снега Да по той дороге, да по длинной Проскакала в розвальнях пурга Да только снег толпом Да там и выси Да только звезды сон А большаку
Доставая месяц на скаку, доставая месяц на скаку, доставая месяц на скаку. Trechak getting a little uh, consultation from Fedosov and Larionov. He has given up two goals and the only two on this tour and the first two, of course, since the 81 Canada Cup final. The Soviets have outshot the North Stars 20 to 15. Glenn Sonmore, it's rolling. They're mighty hard to stop as both the Montreal Canadiens and Quebec Nordiques found out. Last week, third period action is underway. North Stars, Broughton gets a chance inside the line. Fedosov rides him off smartly. Still there, though, for McCarthy into the corner. Cicerelli is dumped. When he saw McCarthy with the puck, he moved towards the corner. Kazatonov just took him down. He got a tripping penalty as he was moving towards the puck. They've done early this period, and especially the last five minutes of that second period. They've had a little problem getting the puck up. Got to make sure it gets out of that zone. Soviets capitalizing a couple times on it. Bykov on the draw. Stars smartly bring it out. McAdam feeds it across. Priest now is bumped hard in the corner. Zubkov battling with him. They dig it out of there, but Kozhevenikov steers it past Giles out to center ice, and Giles returns it back to the Soviet zone. Vasiliev over to Zubkov. Inside the line they go, Vasiliev cruising in front of the shot, blocked by Beaupre, and he hangs on. A little pushing and shoving at the end of that exchange. Well, Kozhevenikov going in on the net, and whistle I've blown. North Star's getting a little upset. CTD's wide world of sports this Saturday. Well, you see Bykov getting a fine check by Kurt Giles, one of the better body checkers in the league. And here you'll see Donnie Beaupre stopping, making the save, and freezing that puck while he's down to make sure he doesn't give up any rebound. Bykov in the Hockey League even. The final game on Thursday at the Philadelphia Spectrum. We'll have it for you right here. Maxwell playing it ahead. And over the line for Young. Young got tied up by Varnikov. Couldn't get the shot away. Sports off streaking down the right boards. Being watched by Roberts. Down he goes. Roberts will get the call. A penalty against Minnesota. By Gordy Roberts right here. He'll get a hooking penalty. And Gordy really shouldn't have taken the penalty at this time because Jordy Douglas had back checked and actually Schwarzkopf wouldn't have had a play with the puck. But he got him off balance. Got Gordy moving off balance. Gordy getting that stick. At 4.34, this is the third period. Cleared out by Minnesota. Puck sliding down for Fetisov, the Soviet captain. Working there against Mike Eves over to Kazatana. Now Krutov. One of the top candidates for the Labatt Player of the Game Award for the Soviet Union. He's got a couple tonight in this 5-2 Soviet lead. Brings it in across the line. All the way back for Fedosov. Back into the slot in front. Both play down. Loose puck. Kutov couldn't get the rebound, but Kazatanov keeps it in for Fedosov. Fedosov booms one. Rebound. That shot wide of the corner. Fedosov down in behind the net now. Plays it off the back of the goal. Now Mandich throwing punches at Fedosov in the corner. The Soviet player is not retaliated by punching. is simply hanging on to him as the linesmen move in to separate them. Mandich getting frustrated. There's no need for that at all. You know the Soviets aren't going to fight, and you're killing the penalty. He took the man out behind. They were both going to go off for penalties before that. He should have just let it lay in uh, the Coliseum. He can't afford this kind of stuff. Cross checks him right there. Soviet player gives him a stick, pushes him again, and away they go. Well, Manage getting hit with the stick should realize the other fellow had a penalty. You're killing the penalty at that time. In there. Well, you see a good chance by Fedosov. Speaking of Fedosov, a fine shot right there. He takes a pass across Bopre, sprawling to make the save. And Larry on. Why? Fedosov talking with the interpreter, Aggie Kuklowitz now. Having the penalty explained to him and the situation, he is off for the Soviet Union with two minor penalties, as is number 32, Dan Mandich, for the North. Interpreter, what happened in that situation? The interpreter said he got, and trying to stay out of the penalty box to do so. Kutov, Giles, around to Hartsburg. 
past the five minute mark here in this third and final period Soviets on top by three goals Eves chasing it down into the corner takes a bump in there then lost his footing Krutov again everywhere on the ice for the Soviets they're playing four against three exclusive of goaltenders now in this penalty situation Roberts the first off for Minnesota has a ton off inside the blue line gets it back on the point Mariana stationed there with him. Mariana quickly back to Kazatana. Mariana booms one. Beaupre save and Eves comes up with it. Twenty-eight seconds left in Roberts' penalty. They'll be even when he gets back out there. Timonev inside the line drops it there. Larianov comes over to scoop it up on the boards. Quickly over to Kazatonov into the corner for Kutov. Takes a check from Maxwell. Soviets carry on. Kazatonov fakes it. Gets it back again. Taking all the time in the world. Larianov set up. Drops it. Slap shot. Rebound. Kutov couldn't get his stick on it. A booming shot from the point. Came right out in front again. Roberts out of the penalty box. Hartsburg with it now at the Minnesota Blue Line. The crowd cheering as the referee Bob Myers fell. Hartsburg brings it in. Can't split the defense. Goes off to the Soviet corner for Barnikov. Takes an elbow from Roberts in there. Mariana to center. Skating slowly now back to his own zone as they change. He'll leave the ice. He hands the puck off to Bozikov. Now Sportsoff having difficulty. Against Giles. Forced down to the Soviet zone. 12 minutes, 45 seconds to play. Soviets ahead, 5 to 2. Babinov. For Svortsov. Babinov in the corner. Big check on Babinov as he was sent flying by Giles. Now here's Ferguson to Young. Young getting away from Bozakov. Shoots from the angle, picked up by Trechak. Roberts lets one go from the point. That shot all the way back to center ice for the Soviet Union. Young passed it back. Only a Soviet player was there. And Varnikov passes it over the line. Sportsov against three defenders gives it up to Roberts. Eves on the left side. Eves a fine move. Right in, he shoots. Oh, Kretschak sprawled. Made the save. Eves couldn't lift the puck high enough. Eves had a sensational game so far tonight. Indeed. Play is whistled down in the center ice area. Soviets got caught with too many men on the ice, and Kapustin's been nominated by Tikhanov to serve. Well, the North Stars need a goal to get right back in this game, and right now is a good opportunity. Four on three gives you a little more ice to work with. Vasily Pervukin just lobs it down the ice surface. McCarthy will pick it up in behind Beaupre. McCarthy getting some room now to wheel at center ice. With Cicerelli, McCarthy taken down with a check by Villaletana. Back to McCarthy. Waiting, lets it go. A high shot and a glove saved by Trechak. Well, McCarthy was waiting for Cicerelli to get to the net. Trechak seen Cicerelli coming, moved out in front of Cicerelli. Cicerelli had to go behind him, and he was able to glove that save. You see Tommy, he'll fake a shot right here. He's going to pump right there. You see him look. Now he waits. Dino moves towards the net. Dino's going to move in behind as you see him come through your screen behind Trechak. It's a good thing that he, the goal wasn't scored while he's in the crease, so they wouldn't have counted it. They've had one bad break already on a whistle that cost them a goal earlier. Shot out by Victor's Lutka. Tom McCarthy. Right wing pass for Neil Broughton. Broughton skating inside the blue line. Drop back for Roberts on the point. Bless one just wide. Lukoff having trouble clearing. Stars pick it up again. McCarthy on the point. Blocked by the Soviet player, Pervukin. Player of each team comes out as they score. The Stars make it five to three. Well, a good shot. The North Stars having a couple of opportunities. Gordy Roberts made a big play fighting Zlukov off the puck just before we see Tom McCarthy right here getting set for a shot. That first shot was blocked. It came back. 
passed across to McCarthy. He gets a second shot and puts it away. A real good low drive by McCarthy, beating Trechak on the goal stick side, and that's the side you want to beat him on. The North Stars were able to keep it in the zone. So Minnesota alive with 10 37 to play, down 5 to 3. Cicerelli, an assist on the goal by McCarthy. Here's Payne now, starts right back in, a redirected shot by Bobby Smith, and Trepchak had to be quick on that. A fine play by Steve Payne, noticing Bobby Smith breaking for the net. At the back, could have got this team going wild, and he gets his crowd, a very exuberant crowd here, a loud crowd. 20 remaining now. Stars with new life. Giles forcing it down, across it comes out in front from Smith, they couldn't connect on it. And the Soviets break out two on one. Larry on off with Kutov, over to Kutov, and a good saving deflection off the stick of the defense from Giles. Giles bumped down by Lariana. Kutov carries on, pops it out in front. Less than 10 minutes left now. Bellows brings it in. Petasov skated him off. Held in by the North Star. Shot down by Payne behind the goal. Petasov. Brink. Here is Eve. Dropping it back, the shot is blocked by the defense player from Platt. Platt getting physical out there on offense for the North Stars now as the Soviets have it back at center ice. Shepelev with Timonev inside the line and Roberts scoops it away. Up to Eve. Eve's back finally on the point for Platt. Shoots! Kretschak got a piece of it, bounced out in front. Kutov coming up with it. Held in for the Stars. Here's the shot way up into the crowd by Dan Mandich. Great. Soviet Nationals against Philadelphia two days from now. Thursday night and a quick shot glove by Trechak, who's bumped and the Soviet players come in to protect their goaltender as sticks go high. Well, the Soviets try to move uh, Freest out from in front of the net. He was trying to or Douglas, and he was trying to really screen uh, Trechak. We'll have a little replay in that shot from the blue line. You'll see the shot, and Douglas moving to the front. Trechak gloving it, and then the hassle started as Douglas moved in. The NHL Soviet Series in here at the Met Center, urging the North Stars on to their comeback, which they have launched here. They're within two goals now, down five to three. 7.38 remaining in the game. Young against Kozhevenikov. The Soviet player wins it ahead to Vasiliev. Shoots wide of Beaupre. Here come the North Star. Mandich. Young. Young loops it in front of the goal. And number 14, Douglas couldn't get there in time. It's chopped up in among the spectators. A stoppage in play with 7.15 remaining. Well, you see a half of the Soviet Union. Well, Tom McCarthy having a fine night out there. He's out there with Neil Broughton and Dino Cicerelli. And this is one of the lines that really has got a great deal of explosiveness in the league. Cicerelli is the top scorer on the Minnesota North Stars. Has a goal tonight. The game's first. Shoots it down to the Soviet zone again. Glove quickly and returned by the Soviet defense player Kazatana. Seven minutes to go in the game. Broughton, smart hockey player. Could not advance it beyond the blue line. Kapustin being checked by Maxwell. They pop it out in front. Dino Cicerelli coming away with it. Soviets doing some close checking now. Trying to head them off in the center ice area are successful. Shepelev with Kapustin and Shalimov. Drop pass to Shalimov. Kazatanov. His shot is blocked by the Minnesota defenseman Maxwell. Six minutes and 20 seconds remaining now. Sonmore makes a lineup change, sending the Smith line out. Smith watching Fedosov. Pass away to Krutov. Soviet top line on the ice. Shot up in among the spectators. We have six minutes and four seconds to play. 
The NHL Soviet Series 83 will come. Now, when you're behind, if you got some pressure going, you don't like to see too many whistles. You want to make sure you're on them quickly and tiring them out, getting yourself the opportunity. Kapustin chasing Hartsburg in behind the goal. Hartsburg had to give the puck up under pressure. Vidya Letonov lets a shot go, and it drifts wide of Beaupre's net. Kept in by Pervukin. Now Fries with four minutes and nine seconds to play. Leaving it there for Hartsburg. Shalimov watching him as Hartsburg starts up to center. Weak shot. Did not cross the blue line by very much. The Soviets have a two-on-one. Kapustin relays it back. And a shot by Shalimov just went wide. For Minnesota, Freest. He has one of the two goals tonight. Three now the North Stars have. Shalamo takes it at center ice. McCarthy got a piece of him. Maxwell left it there. They couldn't bring it in because of the offside. Now they shoot it in. Three minutes and 20 seconds to play. Soviets on top, five to three. Bill Yeletanov trying to find Krutov. He has two Soviet goals so far. Stars shooting it in. Krechak indicates icing. Waved off by the officials. Here comes Krutov. They're a three on two now. Left wing pass for Kazatana. Digs it out for Krutov. Couldn't get a shot off. For Cicerelli, too far at center ice. Two minutes and 42 seconds to go. Sustained action, but no real pressure in the Soviet zone on the part of the North Stars right now. Lariana has a chance, and he scores! That should put out the lights. Lariana, with 2.31 remaining, makes it 6-3 for the Soviet Union. Lariana capitalizing on a mistake right there by Gordy Roberts, trying to get the puck up the middle, something you don't want to do against these fellas. Steps in, gets a good wrist shot, beating Beaupre in the far side, the goal stick side, making it 6-3. As you said, it's going to be pretty tough to come back at three goals from these fellas at 2.31. Larianov, a fine shot just inside the pipe, putting the Soviets up by three. So after 17 minutes and 29 seconds, they score their first goal on Beaupre. Matson, who played exceedingly well in the first two periods, gave up five goals. Nonetheless, it is 6-3 now for the Soviets who just keep the pressure coming. Mandich left it there. Worked out by Hartsburg. Pass intercepted. Kozhevenikov has Vasiliev and couldn't get the puck to him. Hartsburg rolls it inside the line. Still there. Chance for Payne. That was deflected wide. Less than two minutes to play now. Babinov coming away inside the line for Baikov. They just got a piece of him at the last moment there. The check by Bellows. Otherwise, he would have blasted one. Bellows off his stick inside the Soviet zone, but Babinov is there first. Smith for Payne. Nobody on the point. It rolls back to center ice. Less than a minute and a half to play. Baikov streaks down the right side. Dropping it back. The quick shot blocked by Beaupre. Steve Payne gets away from Kozhevenica. Tries to feed Platt. Delayed offside is called as the Soviets. Kapustin has it. We come down to the final minute of play here in the third period. 6-3, the Soviets lead Minnesota. Shalima. Kapustin. One chance for the North Stars to put some pressure on now. The closing second to make it close. But bumping hard to the corner against Pervukin. So the Soviet Union is going to take a 3-2 series lead of the Spectrum in Philadelphia for game six on Thursday night.
Two on one, 20 seconds to go. Kapustin had it hop over his stick. Right in front again, Vidyaletinov could not get a drive away. 10 seconds to play, Hartsburg in behind. He'll shoot it back down the ice. Right on Trechak as the Soviet Union has defeated the Minnesota North Stars six to three. The big damage done by for the Soviets. After the Stars had scored the first goal as Calgary and Edmonton had done before them, this time now the Soviets came back to win it. Well, the Soviets with a great deal of scoring power when you make a mistake on them in the slot. A little sloppily during the second period, the last four minutes. Two times, moved right in, scored goals, and in the third period, after Minnesota moved to within two, Larry Anoff pulls a goal by just stepping in the slot, getting a shot. Goal. Now, the presentation of the Labatt's Player of the Game Award. Company most valuable player on the Soviet All-Star team, number nine, Vladimir Krutov. <laughs> The most valuable player on the Minnesota North Stars team is number 11, Tom McCarthy. Thank you, Mr. Hudson and Labatt, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being such a great audience. Awards from John Hudson, Director of National Here's Promotions for Labatt. Soviets win at 6-3. Don't go away. We'll have more for you. The NHL Soviet Series 83.